all the animals don't, none of, nothing goes to waste. So me and my son, Mackenzie went to Newfoundland. We shot our moose. He got his bull moose. I got mine. We got all the meat. We just got the hides back. So they're new comforters for our beds. And we took the skulls. So I've been whitening the skulls. We got the hides back for our beds. And the meat actually went to a gala that I had for Take Me Hunting. And we fed about 100 people moose, sweet and sour moose meatballs. So it all like kind of everything I do is forwarded into something else. Which I think is so amazing. So w- let's talk about those skulls. What are you going to do with it? Just, just display pieces for your... Yeah, those will just be display piece, pieces. Okay. Because, yeah. So when you're looking at, yeah, yeah, when you're looking at a hunt and, and obviously, I mean, your freezer, I'm assuming is, is all full of your own hunt. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about it. Somebody that doesn't understand hunting. Uh, my wife's, uh, old boss was a moose hunter. Like he would go once a year with his buds. They would hunt moose up North, uh, yeah. before it would obviously get their tag. They would hunt moose. And I, would, I remember hearing stories where as soon as it's done, they already have up there they already have a butcher up there they, they know a local butcher they would bring the moose to the butcher he would do the cuts where there's steaks ground beef like everything's done so when he comes back everything's packed ready to go and he's in his and his freezer is set for the year and uh so is that something where you guys focus on where you guys already yeah. have every do you do your own butchering or you have a butcher that yeah. does all that for you you do everything your own um, i do my own butchering uh except for if um if i have like a back-to-back hunt I've gone to the butcher twice and that was last year I had two back to back hearts and I shot a deer and I had to bring it to the butcher because I just didn't have enough time to get it done before moving on to the next one. Yeah. But for the most part, I do all my own butchering. We do pigs here at the farm. That is my favorite thing to butcher. I love it. And the, and the, it's so rewarding because you get to like roll up your roasts and tie them. And you have your chops that are like three inches thick and oh, it's just amazing. I love it. It's it's I, I'm I'm smiling because you could put a hundred females in a room and reality is most of them would be like freaked out by what you're saying because they wouldn't have the, they wouldn't be able to do that right and and it's amazing how it's just so natural to you and who taught you how to do all these cuts and how to do all this is, is your dad you, you'd learned on your own yeah yeah I so when it comes to like the cuts of the pig yeah um I learned that on my own because nobody had ever done a pig before my dad was like you're you're gonna do what <laughs> and he was there and he helped he helped my husband like uh they shoot the pigs you gotta shoot them at the same time because if you shoot one and not the other then the other will stress out because they were raised together so and then they they hung them from the tractor they gutted them and then they bring them in, they cut them in half, bring them into the, to the shop and I butcher them. And my dad will just sit there with a the beer going, why did you do this? <laughs> but he like, when I was younger, he always had a moose. So he would hang the moose. We, I'd help him take the hide off. And then he would show me like the muscle groups and where you cut and everything like that. So that was like the majority of where I learned how to, how to cut an animal up. But when it came to the pig, it was, I wanted pork chops. I wanted butterfly chops. I wanted steaks. I wanted all these certain things. I wanted to do my own bacon. Oh my God. And like, and I did it all myself and I learned it all myself. And it's, um, it's super rewarding.